Welcome back design students. In this video we're going to create the wings for our spaceship. Now the spaceship project is supposed to be freeform, in other words it's supposed to result in a different spaceship than the one I make. So I really want you to try really hard to make one different just simply using the technique that I'm using. I really don't want your spaceship to look exactly like mine. I want you to exhibit your own creativity. So let's get started. So this is where we left off last time. We had created a box and put the symmetry modifier on it and we had selected the correct axis and we had to check flip because it disappeared. And then when we went down to the polygon to the sub level here to the sub object level, uh, our modifier disappeared. And what we said we needed to do was click this button here, show end result. And that will show our modifiers when we're in the sub object level. So let's start by uh, moving I'm just going to make my ship a little narrower here and you can see whatever I do to one side is going to follow over on the other side. So I think I'm going to start by extruding this part out here. Or actually I think maybe I'll scale this down this way a little bit. Then I think I'm going to extrude this out and I'm going to right click this time and use the quad menu and I'm going to just select the extrude tool and you see it changes here and that means I can just pull that right out like that then I'm going to right click to turn it off Then I think I'm going to scale down this way some and maybe this way some more then I think I'll come out again now this time I'm just going to switch to the move tool using W on my keyboard I'm going to hold down shift while I move that polygon and that also extrudes. Then I'm going to do it one more time. And then I think I'm going to grab this one and maybe this one. And I'm going to extrude them upwards. And I don't know where this is going at all. I'm just trying to decide what to do. Actually, I think I'm going to scale this down a little bit and then maybe do that now this time I'm going to have to use the extrude options because I want it to extrude by local normal and let's actually try using the scale tool that didn't work at all But see, I think I like that actually. I'm going to scale these inwards a little bit and then move them out like so. As I said, you never know where this is going to lead you. Scale these in this way. Maybe grab these. starting to look a little familiar <laughs> now we can shape this a little bit here well maybe you know you can shape these as you go uh, I think I'm gonna leave this like this and then uh, maybe extrude this out one uh, Actually, I think I'm going to inset this. I'm going to use the inset tool. And then before I extrude that again, I'm going to take these vertices here and just square that off a little bit.
Now these two I think I'm going to inset by polygon. I'm going to use the uh, options here. Got to accept the transformation. Now, this is an interesting problem here. As you can see, these have separated. Now, if you want to extrude the front out of this like this and not have them separate when you scale them like that, although that doesn't look too bad, I actually might like that. But if you don't want them to separate like that, then what you need to do is temporarily collapse the modifier. So now it's one mesh. So now it no longer has that symmetry function and I'll just move that out and do what I wanted to do with it. And it doesn't come apart. Now if I want this to, uh, if I want to continue with the symmetry modifier after I've done this, let me fix this viewport here, then what I need to do is go to polygon mode and select half of it, just like I did the first time, and make sure you get all of it, and delete it, and reapply the symmetry modifier. in the right axis, of course. And now we can continue with the symmetry function. But remember to turn off show turn on show end result. Now here is a case where I need to collapse the symmetry modifier because I want to put like a scoop down here below this thing. And so I'm going to go ahead and collapse it one more time. So I want to select these vertices here. Pull that up. Alright, that's enough for now. In the next video, we're going to create the cockpit 
and uh, maybe a couple of little other accessories, and I'll see you then.